What is happening, y'all? So you fellas, you have to have a take it or leave it attitude with women, bro. Y'all gotta have a take it or leave it. Y'all have this comes, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. This does come with practice, right? This does come with practice because, especially for my younger guys, a lot of you guys are stuck in this mushy gushy, like getting caught up type of deal, right? And look, when you meet a young lady that is down with you, that is attracted to you, sure, of course, you should reciprocate. You feel what I'm saying? This is actually the disclaimer. If you have a young lady that is going along with you, that has no problem, you know, going going along with you and being intimate and being cool with you and you're rep rep uh, reciprocating the same thing, right? You're being cool with her and you guys are just vibing y'all are just gelling of course you know you're going to care right you're not gonna act like i f you b word you know what i'm saying nah but on the other hand with females that are just being like kind of uh, wishy-washy with you that's you lead lead that right leave that and i'm gonna get right into it first of all this is Terry talks you guys could have been anywhere in the world but you joining me on this beautiful Houston day. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, you have to take, you have to just be like, look, ma, uh, I could do without you, right? I could do bad by myself. But in all reality, the thing about it is when you tell her to go ahead, right? When you tell a chick that's being somewhat wishy-washy, cause look, fellas, like I said in the beginning, when you're younger, you're not gonna have this mind state. You're gonna be in this lubby dubby, mushy gushy type of shit. Okay, this doesn't happen until you get a little older. But for some of the younger cats that watch this type of shit, and hey, it could happen. It could happen to uh, guys as young as hell, sixteen, that be watching this type of shit, right? But unfortunately, a lot of guys, hell, even grown ass men, even grown ass men, will relentlessly take a chick that's treating them like uh you know like a, a the sixth man right and this could be literal with these bras rosters nowadays right i'm talking in in basketball term like you treat it like the sixth man on the bench like I, i'll put you in you know if we really need you or if it, if somebody gets injured i guess we'll just put you in we'll let you have a little play time right and a lot of guys are comfortable with this you know what i'm saying you're supposed to be the point guard you're supposed you're supposed to be the quarterback anything less you leave that okay anything anything less than le you you leave that tom brady look tom brady is and i don't know much about sports like that so i don't give a flying fit nut who the best qb that you think is right or who you think the best qb is i don't care i'm just giving you an example anyway Tom Brady is not going to settle being benched. He's going to be like, hell no, nah, y'all crazy. What? I'm Brady. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you have to build yourself up as a man because nothing is given to you, right? Nothing is given to you. You have to actually be worthy, okay? You have to build yourself up. You got to build your physique, of course. We all know, right? You got to build your internal confidence. You have to build yourself up as a man to the point where you know what? If this chick is acting like she benching you, you automatically just in your head, you like, hell nah, not me, baby. Because as soon as you leave that chick that's playing games, you are going to open another door for a chick that is down with you. It never, fellas, I told you this in the last video. It never fails. Every time I sense, it could be, look, I'm gonna give you a real realistic scenario in my life. It can be three gals that I'm talking to, and all of them are wishy-washy, like, uh, I, I might see you, I might not. And I'm like, all right, I never text them again. That fourth chick that comes along, the fourth one, she's she's all the way with it. She head, She's head first, right? She's head first. She cool as hell, texting me back at a decent time. Uh, when I say, hey, look, let, let me call you or let me whatever, she's like, okay, cool. Whenever I want to see her, she reciprocates, right? So you guys need, by you having that leave it, take it or leave it attitude, you're gonna leave the BS behind and you're gonna take what's deserved. 
You feel me? You're going to take what you want. See, you got to, you have to take what you want in this life. Okay. And you have to leave what's not for you. There is no sense dread. There's no sense carrying dead weight. There's no sense texting. I'm going to tell you this, fellas. Females that are interested in you, females that are actually down to see you, that are actually down to be intimate with you, that are down to, uh, you know what I'm saying, get something romantic going, they are not going to mind. They're not going to mind uh, being quick with it, right? They're not going to mind making that, making that shit go down, okay? So there's no sense in you dragging along this whole process, dragging along this whole, I have to get to know her for five months and all that. I got to send her cute little Snapchats. I have to send her cute little Instagrams, right? I got to FaceTime her every every day, right? I got to FaceTime her when I'm drunk late at night and just spill my feelings out. Come on, a lot of y'all did, a lot of y'all did that. Don't even front, right? Do not even front. I'm going to FaceTime her when I'm drunk and I'm just going to let all my feelings flow and then she's going to see how just romantic I am and it's going to get popping from there. You don't need to do none of that shit. You don't need to do, I'm telling you, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this on this video and you're going to hear me say it on numerous other videos. If a chick is attracted to you, quick caveat, I'm going to slide this in real quick, going off the rails for one second. You, like I alluded to earlier, you have to make yourself a man that is worth, you know, getting with, that is attractive. And I don't want to hear no bullshit about I'm five foot nine and all that. Just the other, uh, on Saturday, I went to the club, swear on my life, on anything I love, on Allah. And this is not the only time I've seen this. I've seen this several times. A guy in there, maybe five foot six. Maybe five foot six. I'm, I swear to God, his body game was on point. Shout out Ron Wills. His body game was on point. He had a baddie right next to him. I'll tell you exactly what he wearing, what he was wearing. If you think I'm capping, he was wearing a nice stylish, like a, a white shirt, right? It was hugging his frame. You feel me? He had some, uh, wearing some nice stylish shit and he had a baddie next to him. I mean, if she was alone, I would have been like, what's happening? What's up? Right. So you have to get yourself to that point. So then that way, when a chick starts being wishy washy, you know, internally in yourself, within yourself, you know, internally, like, hell no, nah, I deserve better than this. Just like Tom Brady, like you are not going to bench me. You got me. F you got me fucked up. And that's what a lot of guys, that's the mind state you have to have. Hell, even even if you're let me take it a step further. Even if your physicality isn't even all the way there, you need to have you still need to have that mindset, right? You still need to have that mindset like I'm worthy. See, the only guys that don't leave uh, a situation where they're being used like some kind of redhead stepchild, right? Shout out to all my redheads, right? If, if there's some redheads, shout out to y'all, but. Men who respect themselves, a situation where they feel like they being used as some kind of, you know, some kind of uh, back end type of guy or just some kind of in case I get lonely type of guy. Guys that respect themselves quickly eject from that situation. They're not going to stick around because guess what? They know internally, they know internally you're going to know within yourself you deserve better and as you get more further into your journey as you get better in your journey you are going to here's what's going to happen i'm going to tell you guys what's going to happen you are going to attract young ladies that are extremely attractive or whatever you consider attractive Attra attraction is indeed subjective right some people say there's objective elements to it which i do agree with there are elements of objectivity, but for the most part, it's subjective. Whatever you find attractive, right? You are going to get with these certain type of ladies. Okay. You're going to get with ladies or you're going to get with young or with women that you find very sexually attractive and they're going to reciprocate and you're going to have a taste of that, right? You're going to have a taste of that attraction. So after you get a taste of that attraction, you're not going to settle 
for no for no bullshit. Like you're not gonna settle for that lukewarm. You're gonna be like, man, if like baby, look, <laughs> I didn't had a chick that was way finer than you come through and and jump off the dresser for me, right? Come through and treat me with respect. Come through and have a nice, decent conversation and connect with me, right? So you're gonna be like, look, you doing all of this this little stuff, right? I'm gonna move on and show enough, show enough. As soon as you leave that situation, you are going to run into a chick that is into you, fellas. We have to. We the the first the first step is. We got to get our confidence up. We have to ha get our self-respect up because too many men feel like uh, females are, are, are above them. That's the main problem. This is the main. If I could get to the main issue of this is a lot of guys feel like women are above them, like they're just a queen and they're the peasant. That's psychologically what's going on with a lot of men. So that's why they tolerate all of this and, and these chicks be coming into the situation you know looking at the guy like he's under them because that's how it's been programmed there a lot of i'm gonna tell you something real quick fellas a lot of females come in to the situation relationship dynamic whatever you want to call it looking down looking down on you off rip until they find out that you not that you not the one right then then they're gonna treat you with some respect but unfortunately a lot of times a chick is just going to come assuming she's better than you off rip. And that's a, a large portion to do with us. A large portion has to do with how men just let themselves fall to the wayside, how they let females toy with them, right? How they relentlessly take chicks that don't want them, right? How they relate re relentless, how they consistently take disrespect, consistently take wishy-washiness instead of leaving that bullcrap i hope this video helped man let me know what y'all thought peace